Hi everyone, so today I thought I would film for you guys and I'm really sorry if you can hear kind of background drilling and stuff but my neighbour's doing some work in the garden. So yeah, I thought I would do a few videos. So um, I don't know if you know but we're hosting a, can you hear the drilling? It's like really, really loud. Um, we're hosting a baby shower at the end of August. Now I'm not due till November but um, I wanted a baby shower in the garden and kind of like summertime um, so I thought end of August going in September is perfect So and I'll still be 7 months pregnant or 7.5 months pregnant um, so yeah I've already sent out the inv invitations if you want to see kind of what they look like then go to my blog or my Instagram and you will see um, I ordered them off eBay, they're like personalised, they're really really cute and the baby shower theme is a vintage tea party, like garden party slash candy sweets buffet and I'm so so excited um, if you want kind of, um, if you want to know where I got my inspiration from then go on my Pinterest, Pinterest have got amazing ideas for if you're hosting like a baby shower or something um, so a lot of my ideas are from Pinterest and um, we was going to hell, we was going to do the baby shower here but it's just way too small and I was originally only supposed to invite 20 people but it's now gone up to 50 people. So um, it's more like a gathering, um, I wanted men there as well, I wanted um, like family men members and stuff like that so it's um, not your to traditional baby shower but it's more like a gathering before the baby comes so um yeah the theme is kind of like a candy buffet so we're gonna have one kind of big table dedicated to um sweets cupcakes cakes desserts all that kind of stuff and um, and i'm gonna kind of display them in really like cute serveware and jars and stuff like that so this video is going to be basically a baby shower preparation haul. Um, most of the stuff I got from Ikea, if not I'll kind of state otherwise. So the first thing I'll get into are the jars that we're going to put the um, sweets into. So it's going to be kind of like a pick and mix old fashioned sweets. And um, yeah, so I'll start off with the jars. I got two clear kind of glass jars which have obviously this is really heavy the um, lids and it's so easy to actually put your hand in I was I was looking for one that was kind of wired so you could put your hand in it and we're going to get either kind of sweet scoops or little like metal tongs um, so yeah it just says large decorative jar so I've got two clear ones I'm not going to show you the other one it's just sitting there and they were from a shop called B and M Bargains, and they were two ninety nine each. So that would look really pretty. And what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to put some like pink ribbon around them to make them look a bit more like girly and um, a bit more prettier. So I love that. Um, and then I also got a pink one. Now I really wanted to stick to the theme of kind of like a baby pink, like a pale pink. Um, like a pale pink, uh, clear glass and white but um, it's quite hard to find pale pink jars so I came across this pink one and I thought it's really cute and all this stuff we actually bought, like the serving ware, we can actually use ourselves so when the party's over I can put like cotton balls in there or um, the baby's headbands, just stuff like that so I thought it was quite pretty and um, I would like it in kind of like a lighter pink colour but it doesn't matter so I only got one of these and two of the clear ones and that was 2 99 again and then moving on to Ikea so all this stuff is from Ikea um, I've got a photo frame it's kind of like a white vintage photo frame and it's plastic and what I'm going to put in here is um, I'm going to print out a kind of piece of card saying um, thank you for sharing our special day please help yourself to some treats or something like that again I saw this on Pinterest and I thought it was really really cute to 
um, stand on the kind of sweet buffet table. So um, yeah, obviously I will show you what everything looks like when I get everything together. But I think this was only four or five pounds. And again, we can use it after the baby shower. Um, next are these, I've got two of these, they're kind of like serving, serving platters, um, they're kind of like, um, kind of like wire, like metal, I'd say metal, yeah, um, and they're kind of in this beautiful kind of uh, cut out cream white colour, and I'm going to put like sandwiches and just kind of different little snacks and party nibbles on these. So I've got two of them. I can't remember how much these was. Um, but they weren't that expensive. All all of the IKEA stuff come to £70. But um, we didn't mind paying for it. Because like I said we can use it for our f her first birthday party. And barbecues and stuff like that. So I've got two of them. And they're really really large. You can get so much on there. Um, okay I forgot to mention. I, we got some more jars. We got these two kind of medium sized ones from Ikea and um, they're just you know plain clear glass ones and they have the kind of little lid here and again we're going to put ribbon around it or we might stick some little kind of gems or something to pretty it up, I haven't actually decided yet um, but yeah you can still kind of get your hand in and everything. And the sweets we're going for are kind of like marshmallows, um, strawberry bulbul, what are they called, bonbons, um, oh God, I can't think, I, I know the kind of sweets I want, but they're kind of like pick and mix sweets. And that's also the favours, so um, instead of buying favours for our guests, um, we're going to get personalised sweet bags and then at the end of the party they can fill their sweet bags up and the little sweet bags will say like Katie's baby show on the date and stuff so I thought that was quite cute and it's kind of like my own personal touch and then I've got two massive size ones they are huge and um, same thing you know they've got the lid um, I think these were four or five pound each so I've got two of them. So that's all the jars we've got. And then I bought these two white lanterns from Ikea. They were £2 each, so you can't really go wrong. And you could put like a little tea light, and it just makes the garden look a bit more like prettier. And um, yeah, and it's got like little cut out stars. So I thought they were really cute for the garden. And then we bought these tea light candles to kind of scatter around the garden or on the table. Um, and I think these are outdoor ones, I'm not sure. It doesn't say. But they smell really nice. There's like a baby pink one, like a medium pink and then like a hot pink. So I got them. We got two of these, so they're kind of large rectangular um, dishes and again we're going to put like little um, angel slices and little cute cakes and scones on these so I've got two of them and then I got two more candles and um, I thought these were really cute and kind of shabby chic looking I might do a close up of these but um, I think they're jasmine yeah, I think they're jasmine, but they're in this beautiful kind of um, dusty pink coloured glass. And again, these will probably go on the table to add a bit of colour. So I've got two of them. I've got this napkin holder. I don't know if you can see this really well. I might quickly open it. Um, but we're not going to put napkins in these. We're going to put these sweet bags in these. So this is like a holder. And the sweet bags will slot in here. And it's got this beautiful like shabby chic design. Um, you just slot them in there. And I thought that was really cute. We've got two plates. These are kind of a bit larger than normal plates. Um, but we've got this 
white one and it's got just beautiful like edging around it around here and then we've got this gorgeous dusty pink colour and you know it's just for food and to look pretty um, and then my favourite things are I got four of these bowls and again they're just kind of like a dusty pink colour and we're going to put like um, crisps and little nibbles and peanuts all that kind of stuff in there so I've got four of them and then last of all can you see Millie? Millie? Come here. She's just looking at all the stuff I bought. Last of all, I bought this cake stand. Um, I really wanted a clear cake stand. I've got a pink one and it's actually the same colour as these bowls. So that's really good for the cupcakes. Um, but I wanted a kind of clear one. Um, and I can use this again afterwards. And I'm not going to get it out, but it just looks like that. And it was £15. And um, I'll probably insert a picture here of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put like little sandwiches and mix and, ma mix and match kind of different desserts and stuff. So I thought it looks a bit quirky and different. So that is everything I've got for so far for the baby shower. We still have to get um, tablecloth covers. Um, banners and balloons and the plates are going to be disposable so all the cups and the cutlery are all going to be disposable and um, what else do we need to get obviously we need to get the food and the sweets but we're going to get that nearer the time uh, that's basically it so I really want to start buying a few little things for the kind of serving wear because we're going to um, obviously have it at my mum's and she's got a lot of party dishes but um, not for kind of sweets and stuff so I thought them jars were perfect. So I hope this helped anyone if you're planning on doing a baby shower and I will quickly insert some images of kind of what inspired me to do this um, and kind of my link to Pinterest and all that stuff. So I hope to see you all soon. Bye! <laughs>